Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 29 of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. We'll also do the weekly premium prom, so if you're waiting for that prom, check that out. Check that video out after this at some point. Anyway, uh, yeah, today I just got into the gym and I just did some cleans and, and jerks and, uh, and bench and squats, but mostly maintenance while I'm uh, trying to keep it light so I don't, you know, uh, overstress myself. I've been way tired lately, just running um, 50 to 60 miles weeks. What is this hat thing that's been... Bring the code to your school. Okay. Not going to do that. But uh, but yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to recover enough so that I can kind of uh, yeah get back to um, running 50 to 60 miles a week. Uh, hopefully, next week I can actually run hard. Tomorrow I'm going to run another... What is it? 10 miles, 8 miles at marathon pace, uh, so that's going to be a, that, that's going to be a test, and then we'll see if I can kind of hold on for the rest of the week, but yeah, uh, that's, that's my, my workout routine for field keep asking, it's also 90 degrees, uh, here in New York, which is, or, it was 93 earlier, so, uh, what is that in Celsius for normal people, it's about 34 degrees Celsius, if you want to know, and I, and I was like, nope, Today's not the wedding day. Maybe I would do a thread mill, but I just didn't really have the energy for it. So, yeah. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah. All right, let's take a look at today's farm, 947. Most stones remain or removed with the same row or column. Okay, so we have a 2D point. We place N stones at integer coordinates. Each coordinate point may have at most one stone. A stone can be removed if it shares the same row of column with another stone that has not been removed. Given the array of stone, we turn the largest possible number of stones that can be removed. Okay, not quite understanding the problem quite yet. Um, but we can probably figure out generalization, right? So basically, what it's saying, I mean, I think... I mean, I, it's kind of weird, right? Because I feel like, uh, and if you, I don't know if you, you heard that, uh, but it's like thunder outside, so. Very long rumbling thunder. But in any case, yeah, I mean, I think the, the, the part that I'm a little bit like half annoyed about this problem is that I don't know that I saw the answer immediately, but we were given a hint, right? And the hint isn't really a hint. It's a little bit of a meta hint. It's a hint in the sense that the last couple of days we've been doing connected components. And as soon as I thought about connected components, it makes sense, right? Because basically, um, the idea here about is, is that they talk, tell you about uh, removing stones, but maybe, you know, one of the first things, or one of the things that you can think about in, in these problem solving is that sometimes they disguise problems to kind of try to fool you, or at least slow you down. And one thing that you can do is always um, try to figure out what does it mean to be to answer the opposite of what they want, right? In this case, instead of the largest number of stones that can be removed, uh, the the lot uh, the number of stones that can the fewest number of stones that can be kept, right? <coughs> um, and here, uh, my my idea here is that okay, so given two stones. In the same row and or column, then um, given two stones in the same row column, it doesn't matter as long as they're in the same row column. So okay, so then my next thought after that, and this is me going like this happened in maybe like ten seconds. Honestly, I'm not I don't know. I'm not trying to say it as a humble brag, but I just want to kind of be honest, right? Like when you saw me go like deep and thought a little bit, that was what I was going through my mind and very rapidly. Um, but yeah, and here, let me bring up the drawing board real quick. And this for this particular problem, I think I was able to visualize um, without the drawing boards uh, or like, you know, my, my notepad. Sometimes I do need it though. But yeah, and, and then there's, the, so the two case, there's really no decision. It doesn't really matter in a choicey kind of way because if you have two things, it doesn't matter which one you move and as long as they're in the same row column, right? So then now you have three things, right? Obviously, the trivial case, or not trivial, but it's just easy to think about is if they're in the same row or same column, right? Then you obviously only just keep one, you remove two of them from one. It doesn't matter which two, but, right? So then now the decision is if, um, if you have, 
Mm. Let me actually draw this a little bit differently. If you have, have three dots th that are both like this, right? So then obviously you have, you know, th these connection and these connections. And really there are only two probably unique way of doing it, right? One is to remove, I mean, without loss of generality, um, there are more ways, but they're all symmetric in some ways, right? But if you just remove one of these and then one of these, then you, you keep one. And then the other way uh, it, is to remove, say, the middle one, and but then now you're left with two, which is not the fewest that we can keep, right? So that means that you always want to do it this way. Um, and then kind of in my head, like in the next few seconds, was that, okay, so then now you have this, and then without loss of generality, um, if you have more... Uh, uh, let me write it here, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not writing in a corner. This is what happens on my notebook too. But in any case, uh, if you have you know this thing that we have, and let's say you um, add more dots in the top, right? Well, without loss of generality, this you know is the same thing. So we can you could even kind of compress them into the one point if you want. So so then the only interesting thing is that if um, if there's another one that is in, uh, let, let's say here, right? Then now what does that mean? Well, it still means the same thing. And also, you can kind of now kind of generalize a little bit, maybe. Um, it doesn't matter if the, these two are connected. Or by connected, I mean the same or same column. But you can kind of see, uh, you know, an idea, right? Is that uh, two things are connected if they have the same row or column. Um, but And then now... You can always remove, you can always find, um, I guess, a, a, a leaf to remove. And you just keep on removing leaves until you have one node. And honestly speaking, at this point, it doesn't matter which one is the one node. Because, you, you know, as long, as long as you keep on removing a leaf, you will always get one node, right? So, and all this is inspired by the fact that, um, all this is inspired by the fact that I have this idea of, this hint, right, of connected components, because I asked myself, if it's connected components, what can we do to uh, exploit or like to to take advantage of this, right? So that's basically the idea, really. And now, and then you can kind of draw that for each one connected component, you have one stone remaining that you have to return or you have to keep. And that's basically the idea is that now, given n stones, we uh, try to find the number of connected components, which is something that we have done um, the last two, three days or something, right? So that's kind of like that. Um, I don't remember what I did the last couple of days. Uh, I think I did a Q-based one yesterday, right? Um, I don't know if I did the Defo Search one, but uh, but we haven't done the, um, the Union Find one. So let's do the Union Find one. I've already done this twice to, before. Let's see if I've already done the Union Find one. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so I didn't do the un Why did I submit it twice? I don't know. But okay, so it seems like I did it. I mean, I, I knew this one anyway, right by now. Um, hopefully, I proved to you that I'm not just cheating. But I just want to write it in a more in a, in a distinct way than I have done in the past. So let's write it in um write it in a um what you call it? Write it in union fine, right? So union fine, um, there are a lot of, uh, I'm not going to go, ooh. Uh, union fine or disjoin set union data structure, right? So these are things that I'm not going to go over today in much detail, um, except for the uses and abstract data type. So definitely, um, we you know, uh, do your studying on those. Uh, it's not... I think, it, I mean, you should definitely know it for an interview, but it's not as important for this particular bit, right? Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, n is equal to a thousand, right? Uh, so you can actually do an n square type thing to kind of establish the edges, but we don't actually even need to do that. We can actually be a little bit better because we know that, um, yeah, we can just kind of put them on the X and on the Y, right? Um, and what I mean by that is that we have, uh, do, 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 let's say X is, is equal to collections dot um, default dictionary of list. Uh, yeah, and Y is equal to collections dot default dictionary of list, right? 
and then here maybe we have like for index um, xy in enumerate stones so that we get the index and then xs of x we append the index yx of y we append the index right if i could type correctly um and here we also want to do the union find which um honestly i i don't know if i would call it memorize because i don't i always have to like think about it so i don't think i can say memorize but uh but in, in general the way that i think about it nowadays versus i think when i was i'm not gonna lie when i was first starting out when i was younger i definitely memorized it a bit more um and maybe even have it as copy paste but now i think of it as like uh like I, I try to think a bit more like a tree type thing. So I don't know. I don't know if that's better. But yeah. Right. So this is the number of. Uh, and, and given a tree, you, you have a, a parent for each tree. And then you have two functions, which I call the find function. Right. Which is if uh, parents of X is not equal to X. That means that. That means that. Um, I'm not the root node, then what, the, what What does that mean, right? That means that parents of x is equal to you find parents of x. This is part, of, so this is uh, actually path compression, and then we can return parents of x afterwards. So if you don't do this, you can actually write uh, return you find parents of x. So, and, and if you kind of visualize it, it just goes kind of up the tree, if you will. But in storing this down, um, we, we path compress so that in future course, it, it, you know, it doesn't go uh, all the way up. And anyway, in union, we, uh, this is just finding both of them. And then you, uh, for me, uh, the way that I like to do it, it doesn't really ma is that it doesn't matter um, because it'll even out with the path compression. Um, you can actually add some I criteria here to 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 do which into which. Um, not going to talk about that here, but it it's still the complexity is good enough for most things. Um, so we'll pretend it's all of one. Anyway, so then now we have all these x's and all these y's, right? So now, um, yeah, now we can and do the um, the much more called the unioning to find the connected components, right? Uh, do, 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 right? So then there are a couple of ways you can keep track of it. Uh, there are a lot of equivalent ways. It doesn't really matter per se as long as you're able to solve it. And and for me, I don't really memorize these things. Um, I just, well, I mean, I don't know. It depends. On, like, I remember these things, but I don't memorize these things. There's a prior distinction there. But it also, that means that if if I if I do the same problem, even using union fine, um, you know, I don't know. Like, every year, I might choose a different way every other year or something right because it doesn't it i don't have a strong preference it just depends on how i feel that day uh but yeah but anyway for, so for x in except that keys right so then now we have this and this is a list so then now we have um for i don't know x2 second x i don't know variable names are all right so uh let's just say xx in da -da 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 -da. Um, uh, and you can maybe start with the uh, the first item or whatever, right? Then you can just union x and xx. Oh no no not x of xx. Uh, no 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 wait wait wait. This is the index. Sorry, right? So this is the index, right? So for index two is so then now this is index two, uh, and then now this is index, and index is just going to be the first item, um, and it doesn't. Um, Keeping in mind that in, in a transitive kind of way, you don't need to do like an n square thing to union, right? You just all union to the same uh, one of them and that's fine. So that's why this works. And in theory, this should be much faster because in the worst case, um, this is going to be O of n where n is a thousand and not n square, right? Um, assuming that, you know, union is, um, union is, uh, what you call it, uh, O of one. Yeah, and then we do the same thing for the other one, and yeah. And you can definitely like keep track of things so that uh, whatever, but you can also just, you know, count the number of distinct parents. Uh, or Well, technically not just parents, but the thing, right? 
So yeah. So then now these are no, the remember the number connected components is numbers that we haven't removed, right? So we can just count either way though. But yeah, um, so we can do. Uh, I don't know. It's either set or whatever. It doesn't really matter, right? So scene is equal to scene, right? Or distinct, right? So then now, yeah, for for index in range of n, um, s dot add u find of index is fine, right? To get the root, right? And each root is a different component. So then now length of set is going to be the number of connected components. So then the numbers that we removed is n minus the set, and here we get to go, right? And that's pretty much it, really. Unless I get it wrong, then you know there's more. Uh, give it a quick submit, and yeah, 16, 12 day streak. Uh, keep in mind that this is in this way is going to be uh, all of n time and all of n space, right? Uh, this is all of n space. Uh, again, we pretend this is all of one ish. I don't want to explain reverse argument or inverse argument function, etc. But you can look it up; it's fine though. But yeah, uh, as a result, we're doing this compression e thing. This, ooh. Uh, all, both of these is O of n. This is O of n ish, and this is yeah. Uh, if oh, I wonder if I did it this way. Oh, I guess I did do it this way in the past. So um, did it fast too. Um, yeah, I think it can. Yeah, it can be a little tricky if you do a depth first search because you you. It is very easy to accidentally do it like n square, um, which is fast enough for this problem. But you know, you just have to think about it a little bit. Um, anyway, uh, that's all I have for this one. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. Uh, hope you get all the stones that you want. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.